I started this YouTube channel around three years ago and it now makes me an income big enough to live off completely. But I've noticed that between 2016 and now in 2020, a lot has changed around how YouTube works. So from noticing these changes, I put together this video that's gonna cover four YouTube channel ideas I've come up with for you to follow with your channel in 2020. These ideas are gonna make sure you're doing things right and setting yourself up to make money on YouTube. Things are changing all the time and you need to make sure you're following the most up-to-date information and also avoiding the latest mistakes. And that's exactly what this video is going to teach you how to do. Okay, so let's get started. My first idea for anyone starting a YouTube channel in 2020 to make money is you need to make sure you're building your channel within the right category. There are certain topics that you can build your channel around and focus your videos on. And these topics are gonna determine how many views you get and how much YouTube pays you for the adverts shown on your channel. And the topics that have opportunities around them changes from year to year. So you need to make sure you're focusing on a topic that's lucrative in 2020. So one of the ways we can find out what topics have the most potential around them is we can look at the YouTuber rich list of 2019. So this shows us the YouTubers that made the most money in the last 12 months. And we can actually look through this list and see what topics those YouTubers focus on. So what's profitable right now in 2020. So if we scroll through this list, we can see that we've got a gaming channel, another gaming channel, another gaming channel, a channel that started on games, PewDiePie. The first five most richest YouTubers are all gamers. We've then got a makeup channel, a channel that has like a daily talk show, a channel aimed at kids, um, a trick shot channel, and to top it off, the top YouTuber is a channel aimed at kids. So just from looking at that list, we can get some ideas straight away that some popular categories in 2020 that are gonna be making people a lot of money are gaming channels, makeup channels. So if I was starting my channel today, I could look at this list and think, hmm, maybe I'm gonna become a popular makeup blogger and I could start making videos on makeup. What do you think? Think I can pull it off? We can also look at lists like this that show us the 21 profitable YouTube channel ideas that you can follow to make the most money on the platform. We can see we've got makeup on there, gaming, food, yoga, fitness, and so on and so forth. If you're starting in 2020, you can use lists like this to guide you to make sure you're starting your channel looking at the right topic. I started this channel out just as a general vlog, documenting my time traveling. I was a bit lost in life, didn't really know what I wanted to do, but I knew that I wanted to make videos. And the channel slowly morphed into a marketing YouTube channel, which if we jump onto the screen now, we can see digital marketing is number 11 as a profitable YouTube channel idea. And as I said at the start of this video, this channel now makes me enough money with just 30,000 subscribers to live off the earnings full time. So finding the most profitable channel categories of this year 2020 and making a channel within that category is my first idea for you if you're wanting to start a channel and make money in 2020. The second idea I've got for you if you want to start a channel this year and make money is make sure you're not letting YouTube take money away from you. So what do I mean by this? Well, YouTube has a lot of like rules, regulation and guidelines. And if you break those rules, YouTube can decide to either give you no money at all or a minuscule amount of money. So it's important to keep track of policy changes every year and make sure that your channel is compliant with any of the recent policies YouTube has in place. Now on this channel, I'm always striving to update you with the latest policy changes that could affect you making money on the platform. So go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you wanna keep up to date with the latest policy changes happening at YouTube and making sure that your channel is A-OK. -okay. A recent example of these YouTube policy changes in 2020 is YouTube's decided to actually blacklist kids channels. So any channels making content aimed at children is gonna be heavily demonetized. So those top 10 YouTubers from last year that had like the top spot and the third spot of the most richest YouTubers, that's not gonna be the case in 2020 because YouTube is now punishing channels that have kid focused content. Now I spoke about this more in this video here because you actually now as a YouTuber have to go into the back system settings of YouTube 
and actually manually tell YouTube that you are not a creator making kid content. If you don't do that, YouTube will punish you and demonetize you. So I've done a technical like step-by-step -step tutorial here of how to go into the YouTube settings and tell YouTube that you're not a kid focused creator. So go ahead and check out that video if you want to know exactly how to show YouTube that you're not a kid focused channel. And just remember idea number two in general, make sure that YouTube isn't taking money away from you by staying compliant with the most recent policy changes. Okay, so the third YouTube channel idea for 2020 to start your YouTube channel and make money is to make sure you're maximizing the amount of money YouTube pays you. So on average, YouTube typically pays you around $2 for every thousand views your channel gets. And this is typically based on the reward YouTube gives you for that five second skippable ad that shows before your videos. But one thing you can do to increase the amount of money that YouTube pays you per thousand views is have more than just one ad on each video that you make. And the way you do this is by increasing the video length of your videos to make sure they're over 10 minutes long. Because YouTube actually allows you, when you've got a video that's 10 minutes or longer, it allows you to go in and manually add more adverts into your video. So by having multiple ads in each video, you're gonna be getting paid more than if that video just had one ad in it. So as a result, you're gonna be getting paid more per thousand views, and you're gonna be boosting up from $2 per thousand views to even higher than that. Now, if you wanna know the exact process to put ads in your videos and start making money with YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and ring the notification bell because next week's video is gonna be all about YouTube ads, how to get accepted onto the program, and then once you've been accepted how to manually put them into your videos to make sure you're making as much money as possible. So subscribe to the channel and keep an eye out for that video next Monday. Okay, another way you're gonna maximize the amount of money that YouTube pays you is you're gonna make sure that your videos are drawing the attention of audiences that make you the most money. So what I mean by this is YouTube actually pays you more money if your audiences are in certain countries compared to if they're in other countries. And a general rule of thumb here is YouTube pays you more for viewers that speak English compared to the viewers that don't speak English. So by using this logic, people typically say that if you've got audiences in the UK, um, Canada, New Zealand, America, or Australia, YouTube's gonna pay you more money compared to if your audiences are elsewhere. And that's a good rule of thumb, but I actually looked at my data over the last three years in a previous video that you'll see here, and I broke down exactly how much YouTube paid me for audiences in every single country in the world. And actually the results were quite surprising. Those five countries were high up there, but they weren't the most rewarding countries of all the countries available. So if you wanna see exactly how much YouTube pays you per thousand views for every single country, in the world and then you can use that information to decide who to target your videos at, go ahead and give this video a quick watch when you get a chance to. But in general, having longer videos with audiences in countries where you get paid more is gonna maximize the amount of money that YouTube pays you. But another thing you can do to make sure that you get more views of your channel is you can get a shout out, a promotion from a channel that is bigger than you. And that's exactly what I'm starting to do. I wanna start giving shout outs to people who watch my videos. If you wanna get a shout out from my channel that has 30,000 subscribers, what I want you to do is I want you to take a picture of this video or a screenshot of this video and go to Instagram and put the picture or the, or the screenshot of this video as an Instagram story. And what I'm gonna start doing in the future is I'm gonna pick out randomly people who tag me on Instagram in their Instagram story. And I'm actually gonna have a little segment in future videos where I'm shouting out channels of people who watch this channel. So if you wanna get that little boost in viewership of your channel by receiving a shout out from this channel, take the screenshot, go to Instagram stories, tag at start starting up and you could be one of the selected few that gets that shout out all right finally idea number four for your youtube channel to get you started and making money in 2020 and idea number four is you need to explore other ways of monetizing your audience outside of youtube so most people when they're starting a youtube channel they only really think about the amount of money that youtube is going to pay them for the adverts that are shown on their channel 
And that's all well and good. Like I said, make sure to watch next videos to make sure you're setting up your ads the right way. But if you're just thinking about ads, there's so many missed opportunities that you're just not seeing. So to start, one thing you could do is you could start offering your merchandise to your audience. So you could design a logo for your channel or like um, a, a catchphrase that you use in your channel. And you can go to these websites such as Teespring and you can upload your design to those websites. And that website will actually put your design onto different merchandise like t-shirts, mugs, hoodies, phone cases. And you can offer this merchandise as a product to your viewers. And when you get an order from your viewer, the website actually deals with making the product for you and sending it to the customer. And all you do is sit back and receive the profits. And if we look on screen now, if you actually use Teespring as your merchandise provider, they have a partnership with YouTube where your merchandise can be shown underneath your videos when your videos are being watched and your viewers can actually order your merchandise on YouTube while they're watching your videos at the same time. So the process of offering and selling merchandise to your audience is such an easy process, no upfront costs to you, and it's a way of making money off YouTube that so many people just don't know about. Another way that you can make money with your YouTube channel that isn't YouTube ads is that you can start doing live streams and your audience can actually start donating to you through a live stream. So I'm gonna show you an example of this now. We can see that in this live stream, there is a live chat box over here where viewers can come in and start chatting during the live stream. But what YouTube actually allows viewers to do is they can actually click this button here and start a super chat and they can actually donate money to the channel owner, to the content creator. And it can go up to 300 pounds if you're in Britain. So you have a super chat where people can send you money um, during a live chat and you also have these super stickers that your audience can choose, which also, every time they choose a different sticker, it sends you a different monetary value. So live streaming is just another example of how you can make money through your YouTube channel that not many people think about. And finally, you can sell your own products to your following. So I always encourage people to make an educational type of YouTube channel. Because if you're making educational content, you can then go and sell educational products outside of YouTube. So for example, if you are a YouTuber that makes videos on history, so topics of history, you might then go ahead and decide to make a Kindle ebook on a specific event in history in far more detail in that book that you could go into in a YouTube video. And you can send your YouTube audience to Amazon to buy your Amazon ebook. Selling your own products is a great business model to make money through YouTube with. It's something I do with this channel as well. You know, on this channel, I teach people how to sell products through YouTube and online video. And I've actually got my own online course, my own products called the YouTube Money Making Academy, which I charge people admission to, which teaches people how to make a profitable YouTube channel. So that business model of having an educational YouTube channel and then selling additional products off YouTube is a great model that I use myself, which is a really successful model for people to use on YouTube. So just to quickly remind you, those four YouTube channel ideas for making money in 2020 are, make sure you're creating a channel within the right category, so on the right topic, Make sure you're avoiding YouTube taking money away from you by sticking to the policies YouTube has. Make sure you're maximizing the amount of money YouTube pays you by adopting a number of different strategies I covered in this video. And four, make sure you're exploring other ways of making money through your YouTube following off YouTube. You wanna make sure you're starting your channel right. 2020 has a ton of opportunities, but you need to make sure you're following the most up-to-date information and avoiding the most latest mistakes that have been introduced. So follow my ideas listed in this video and you're gonna be moving in the right direction on your way to success. Now it's a long process, it's not easy. You're gonna get haters, people telling you that it's not possible or telling you that YouTube isn't a real job. Ignore those. Remember that list of the 10 richest YouTubers it is a real job, there is opportunity and potential here, you just have to make sure you're doing things the right way. Stick with it, consistency is the key for success. It worked for me after three years and it can work for you too. You just need to have the hard work and motivation there. And if you don't wanna miss that video on setting up YouTube ads the right way, make sure to subscribe to this channel and also just for useful YouTube information in the future. Ring the bell so you get notified anytime a new video is released. Uh, if you're leaving YouTube, you can find me on Instagram at start starting up where I do daily updates and that's what you need to tag me on if you want to enter to have your YouTube channel promoted on this channel too. So make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'll see you very soon. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. And yeah, I hope you have a good week. See you next Monday.
Peace out.